this boy is ready for the water park. We have approximately two hours and 26 minutes left if there's no storms and there's a storm riding suspiciously close to us here in Orlando. So get ready, we're not gonna bring the G7X in. I'm not even bringing my cell phones in, I'm just bringing this. I went to my, my, my running wristband for my Apple so I can at least bring that to- just so ready. I'm just so pumped to get in there with school. Never sleeps. It's so true. It's true. Right. Magic never sleeps. But we're at, at Disney Springs. We got about an hour, a little less, before we gotta leave because we're actually not doing Disney Springs for the movie. We're going to the one where we saw. What did we see there? Ready Player One. Ready Player One. The Regal on I Drive. Yeah. Because that's the only one that has. Uh, it's like really loud here. It's really loud and it's real busy. But then it's Friday at Disney Springs during the summer. So. Well, we're just gonna hang out. And of course, get a cheer dolly, wash my hands, listen to some good old live music. So many people. It's good. I love a good congested pathway over there. You wanna go? I love parody sometimes. Sarah's secret favorite place to eat at Disney honey Springs. Honey sandwich. Yes. It's whipped honey. Thank you. Right here. Oh, it's classic. I love the jasmine. Whipped honey gets a sec. We love these. I think they have a deal right now. If you go to their Instagram, they have a if you buy a case 24 on Amazon, you get a four pack for free. That's like my favorite food. of all time. This is so good. That was so we had a, co a whole case a couple months back, and we need to get more. But I think the cases are only like 20 or 25 bucks on Amazon. They're like mint julep. Yeah. yeah, they're like probably the least bad kind of energy drink for you. And then of course I'm a big fan of mead. I've never had these meads, but I've had mead before. Super good. We also forgot to say that I don't know if it's that whole swimming section is going to be a montage or not, but uh, very first wave, glasses were gone. And I knew that was a risk, but like I forgot, to be honest, I forgot from walking to our chairs to the pool that they were on, so I didn't realize that they were gone off my eyeballs. He even said, like, my sunglasses are gone. I was like, you weren't wearing them. He was like, yeah, I was. Yeah, but I was like, it was a good, like, minute from when I got up from the wave. Was there a whole minute? And if you've seen Typhoon yeah. Lagoon, the wave pool is like, boom, 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 boom. So I was like, I don't know. We looked around for like five minutes, but either they, either the current took them away or somebody picked them up. But I got, uh, I have other pair of Weirwood, so I'm good. Those were my favorite ones, but I've been meaning to swap them out for one of the darker stains on the side. Yeah, it'll be okay. Crackers at Disney Springs. They are a big sponsor, like through 
like we've noticed through Toy Story Land. So I wonder if this is like yeah, they must the have new, new Go Go species. Yeah. So we are headed into Earl's Sandwich. We're gonna grab two pops, come hang out here for a little bit, eat our cheese and crackers, maybe watch the DJs because they're the funniest DJs ever. So we're at Earl's Sandwich. Got a drink, just relax them before we go walk back to the car. Um, they just said it that we're by the splash zone. They just said that Baybal is the official cheese, the official cheese of Walt Disney World Resort. So, that's what we're doing. So, typical, just a, a humble Friday night, right? We said we got all the cheese you can need. We got more. Oh, yeah. It's the official cheese of the Walt Disney World Resort. It just said that. Really? We give exceptionally good high fives to each other and not anybody else. Like people like tell us like you give really good high fives. The little pounded explosion. That's hard. It would be easier if the movie was just here. <laughs> but we're headed out. But here's the thing is we really want to see this Mr. Rogers movie. And it's already been so long that they're only doing early times at Disney Springs. Like or before I get off work. So when we saw this Regal had a later show, we were like, we have to go, we have to go like today before it's gone. Yeah. There's so many people here. <laughs> There's Magianas right there. Just like our wedding. Okay, but seriously, Magianos food is so good. Also, if you get like the different pastas off their menu, you get one to eat there and then one to take home. And it's like not like cooked and it's warm and they put it in the bag like it's cold. You have to like semi repair it when you bring it home. Yeah, it's so cool. We're having technical difficulties. I'm not able to. My phone kind of stinks and like is not good with internet anymore, like through data. So I'm like struggling to find signal to get to check in to go to the movies. I drive is a different world. Yeah. We're not in Disney. We're not but in Universal. If you're, if you're in the Central Florida area for like an extended period of time, it's a good place to go. You know, there's good restaurants, yeah, good, shops, good museums, good restaurants. And shops and stuff. There's an and then there's place, like this. This the is IMAX. like a complex of restaurants and shops and a nice there big was like IMAX. A step in repeat back there oh. that bar. And like an improv show. Um, so obviously fun music and things to do. Wish I was eating all this candy. Look at all this candy. Super excited. This theater, I forgot. There's only like 25 seats. Pump this is so big. Seats, yeah. I'm gonna fall asleep. Okay. We'll tell you how it is. Look at this cool one. Just a humble <laughs> Mr. Rogers. That was so good. That was good. It, was it was. Mr. Rogers was the man. Yeah. Um, I want to like find the entirety of his all of his shows, which is probably ridiculous because it was like years of uh, five days a week. Um, I want to find it on DVD. Like I want that for myself. I want, I, I've watched a lot, but I've not seen probably 20% of what there was. And I want that for our kids one day. It'd be super cool. Um, but I think we're going to peel box and go home, right? Go definitely watch. Uh, watch with my neighbor, or I think it's almost out of theaters. So watch it on TV or when it comes out. Hopefully it'll be on like Netflix. Yeah, or Hulu. We're home and this is Eve's new throne. She's actually just chilling on it. And we, oh my gosh, are catching up on bucket list because the new one comes out in on Sunday and we've yet to watch the last week's. So we're catching up. And these are two parters because they do their vlog and then they're getting their house renovated so they have a special on their channel, the other, the house renov renovation channel. Okay, so we caught up with Bucket List. We want to show you the progress because it's going to be a multi-week progress but it's going to be big for our lives and that's that downsizing we keep talking about. Over here, that is a bag and a half of jackets and sweatshirts. And Sarah, well, she's right here. Sarah, will you, in when you're editing this, like clapping like right now, the big obnoxious box of jackets that we brought and has since downsized? This entire box yeah. is full of hoodies and jackets. <laughs> and we're not talking rain jackets, we're talking Chicago winter jackets. Oh. But we have them, we are prepared just in case and then we're gonna ridiculousness have happens. But this was absolutely full plus more of yeah. Jackets and hoodies 
and back there, but we've downsized enough where like, that's actually our rain jacket, but like we've gotten like one rain, one wintry, couple classics that we're not gonna get rid of just yet, but there's like maybe 10 items in there between the two of us. But I told Sarah we'd do two things before we go to bed because it is already one? Oh gosh, it's 1.25 in the morning. Um, but the next two things are, are quick. We're going to one, go through my t-shirts and do another sweep of that because we realized after doing laundry that I still have too many. Because mm -hmm. I don't even wear a lot of t-shirts. Like, I've got like nicer t-shirts I wear. Oh, I thought you meant we are going through like your shirts, like your polos. Yeah, too. We'll go through that, too. Okay. Um, but I wear more like more polos or like nicer. I almost feel like you should have like a work section and like a you section. Yeah, and some of it will yeah. overlay, but mostly my work stuff I don't wear. So we didn't show any of it, but we actually add an entire extra bag of donations from Peter's closet and dresser. So that feels good. So we are going to do the DVDs before we go to bed. Peter kind of started that the other day, kind of told our, our top favorites. So we'll see what else makes the cut. This is secretly my guilty pleasure, 21 Jump Street. Something is wrong with us. <laughs> we just, well first of all, we went through all the DVDs. We got rid of like maybe 40. Yeah. And we pretty much have just like about 25 left outside of Disney. We have like almost a whole Disney collection. Mm -hmm. um, but we got rid of three more bags of clothes, the 40 DVDs. It's 2.40 in the morning and we're not tired. No, we're like, we, we're like forcing ourselves to go to bed because we have a bigger day tomorrow. Yeah. My godmother is actually going to be in town. Mm -hmm. So we're going to lunch with her. And then we're going to SeaWorld after with Jill and James. Mm -hmm. So, and I was wanting to go and run in the morning, but I think it all depends on what time we wake up because we need to do some organizing and cleaning around here because Jackie will probably want to come stop by the apartment first. Yeah, and it's just kind of been like, because we've been downsizing, I just want to like spruce it up. Mm -hmm. But guys, I only own like five shirts, like graphic tee kind of shirts, five workout shirts, and like, three or four polos, and then like five or six like button-ups, it's nice. Mm-hmm, feels nice. good. It's good to and be like home. And like five just like regular shirts. Yeah. It's good. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. She's ready for bed. She's the only one ready for bed. Look at those tired eyes. Come Aww. on. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>